Hi, I'm Derek Harlick, and in this edition, we're going to be looking at um, a new feature that is in Community Edition 1.7 of Magento, and that is the ability to create um, unique voucher codes for a individual promotion. Okay, so uh, there's a few reasons why you might want to do this. Um, you may want to send out individual voucher codes to individual people so you can track exactly who is doing what with these vouchers. But it also allows you to kind of give a, a more personal voucher to someone rather than just giving them a generic code. You're actually giving them a code that's unique to them. And of course, it does mean that then you can see what, what they have done with, with that voucher code. So the main, the main thing that we're going to do in this video, though, is show you how to actually generate these codes and also what you can do with them once, once they are generated. Okay, so the first thing is under our Promotions tab here, you want to be going to the Shopping Cart Price Rules. Okay, once I'm in the Shopping Cart Price Rules, you can see here that we haven't generated any vouchers at all at the moment. And this is just any Shopping Cart Rule that would appear in the system. So I'm going to add a new rule. And up comes our usual information for the rule. So we've got the rule name description, whether it's active, what websites it's active on, etc. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this rule a name. And um, we're going to give this, um, we're going to create a voucher. We're going to create 20 voucher codes, and it's going to be for our top 20 clients, and they're going to get 20% off. Okay. So it's a little, a very specific promotion. So I'm going to call this our privilege promotion. Okay. Now, this name here um, is is only for internal system use only. Okay, so this will not be seen by the customer at all. So you can give this a very um, a name that you know will really prompt your memory when you go into the back end of the system. The same applies also for the, dis the description here. This description can only be seen by yourself unless you get someone specifically to develop your system so this get pulled out and brought taken to the front. But actually, this is again something that could be helpful for you to put some some co some information in there that reminds you exactly what this rule is about. So I'm going to put in here so it's for the top 20 customers, uh, and they're going to get 20% off. And I'm going to say as well the rule uh, expires. Uh, on the 31st of August okay okay so the status is status rather is active and I also specify here which websites it's running on if you're only running on one um, website if you only have one website on your installation you will not see this this option here this is only for stores that are running multiple websites okay so I'm going to select that I want it to be available for both websites and also just for ease for now I'm going to select that all customer groups um, get this okay and if, you, if you're doing a if you're doing a shopping cart rule and, and you're not quite sure you know which customer group should get what just activate them all um, the chances are you're not using customer groups if you're if you're not sure what you're doing with the customer groups okay so the safest thing is just to have them all on and here, um, where it comes to coupon, it says to us, uh, are you going to have a coupon or is it a specific coupon? Okay, so if I don't have a coupon, then this rule is just applied to everything that's in the shopping cart before any discount codes are put in. I'm going to have this so it's, it's a specific coupon. Now, this is what you'll notice that's new if you're used to previous versions of um, or pre 1.7 versions of Magento. Um, you will not have seen this before. So this is the auto use auto generation okay so I'm going to tick this box and I'm just going to scroll up here because I'm going to save and continue this rule now notice over here at the moment we have rule information conditions actions and labels if I hit save and continue it will save the rule so far and because I've ticked that box it now knows it needs to add another tab here which is manage coupon codes okay so I'm just going to go and finish off um, the information that I want here. So I don't now need to specify a coupon code, even though it's got that starred um, to say that it's it's a mandatory field. Because I've got that ticked, it knows it's going to take the coupon code from elsewhere. Okay. I've now got number of uses per coupon. So this is for each unique coupon code we're going to generate under this umbrella um, rule here. So I'm going to say that a customer can uh, only use that coupon once, and there only could be one use per customer. Okay. And I need to just put a from and to date. And because I've said this rule is going to expire on the 31st of August, I need to specify that here that the to date is uh, the 31st of August. 
okay now I would say with all rules that you generate in system you should you should always have an expiry date otherwise they're open-ended forever until uh, until such time they get turned off and I think it's just good practice to have an expiry date even if it's quite far into the future okay I won't go through the other parts of that because the next part we need to do is the conditions now I'm gonna leave this blank by leaving this blank it applies this shopping cart rule to everything that's in the basket when there's a discount code there but if I only wanted these products uh, this 20% um, discount to apply to only certain products then I would add a rule in here and I would specify which products they were or what category they're in that kind of thing we'll leave that for now because the important thing is we want to see how to manage the codes actions this is where we uh, specify what the actions for this for this rule are so in in this case or what the discounts gonna be so in this case we're gonna say it's a percentage of the product price discount okay and we're gonna say that it's a 20% discount alright so when this rule is applied there's a 20% discount again I'm gonna leave the rest blank the label here is when the rule is applied in your in your shopping cart there will be um, a line item which is the discount and this is gonna be the label that goes against that line item okay so I'm gonna call it privilege discount okay so the customer will see this and by default these ever store views will pick up whatever the default label is if I wanted to override them so we have a French store view here I might want to put the French translation of what privilege discount is there finally and this is the important part this is where we're going to create our rule okay this is when we're going to create our sorry our actual promotional codes so the first thing is how many coupons are we going to generate now we have said this for the top 20 customers so we're going to generate 20 coupons but I'm actually going to generate 21 because I'm going to use one of them as our test coupon so that we can internally test uh, whether this rule is working okay so we've got 21 coupons then we've got the code length it says here excluding prefix and suffix okay we can specify a code prefix and a code suffix so because it's the privilege um, coupon I'm gonna put a prefix of pre oh sorry for PRI for privilege okay and I'm also gonna put a suffix which is um, I'm gonna put the year okay so it's 2012 so I'm gonna put 12 so whatever code we generate it's gonna start with PRI and it's gonna end in 12 the code length because we haven't got very many coupons getting generated we've only got 21 12 digit codes quite long I'm going to take this down to a six digit code okay and I can also specify here whether the code is alphanumeric so it's all randomly going to put some letters and numbers in the code okay so I can say is it going to be randomly numbers and letters or I could just specify saying I only want it to be letters or I could say I only want it to be numbers so after that PRI it will be either numbers for numeric letters for alpha alphabetical or alphanumeric and I'll just go for alphanumeric and also I can specify a dash so make it easier to read I can specify how often there's a dash in the code so I'm going to say every three characters there's going to be a dash now if I hit generate you can see down here it generates all these codes so as you can see first three letters are PRI then we've got next three letters which are alphanumeric a dash next three letters which are also now alph alphanumeric and then the suffix at the end which is a 12 now looking at that that's not quite how I wanted it generated okay so rather than abandoning the whole uh, whole code and and uh, and starting again with our rule what I can simply do is select all of these and then go over to our action over here and hit delete and then submit that so it's now going to delete all of the coupon codes that we generated what I actually want is I want a hyphen after the PRI so then so it, it is slightly easier to read and also I want a hyphen before the 12 as well okay so this will now make that code that little bit easier to read so I hit generate and now you can see we've got PRI hyphen 05a hyphen and, I, and you look at that and that's not uh, that's not hard code to read but at the same time someone's not going to be able to guess this code okay so it's, it's quite random so now I've got these codes I can choose to save this so I'm gonna save it now and now I'm able to use it 
So I'm just going to take one of the codes and I'll show you how it is used on the front end of the site. So the very first code here, I'm going to make that ours. That's going to be our um, internal testing code. Okay. And now I'm going to go to our website. So here we have a straw Trilby hat. I'm going to add that to my cart. It's currently $17.99. Okay. And now if I enter a discount code here and apply the coupon, you can now see down here that we've had a privilege discount, £3.60, which is 20%, taken off the the grant uh, off the the price of that okay and anything else that was in that shopping cart would also also get that so now I can go and buy that I proceed to check out I, I won't proceed to check out at this time okay so now I'm happy that that codes working what do I do with it next well I could just go through and copy each of these and send them out to send them out to my clients but the easiest thing to do is that there is a export facility here which will export the code to a CSV so I'm going to hit export here and it will come up asking us to save that file. And now if I open it, you will see our coupon codes have been loaded up for us to now use in a mail merge or something like that. So that simply put is how you how you create uh, how you create these these codes um, and uh, have a go and see how you get on.